what's important to understand is that Leo Zagami does not know Tom Horn and, and did not read his books, but he had the exact same information as Tom Horn, who, as many of your viewers may know, Tom Horn actually Chicago. with Chris Putnam went, and, uh, went to the top of Mount Brent. And, uh, they, you know, they wrote Exo Vaticana, and, um, and we actually have some of their footage in our film, that, that footage that, is, that has been hitherto unseen. So, uh, so we're actually in the in, in the in the in the Jesu in the headquarters of the Jesuits talking about the Jesuits on Mount Graham, and Leo is telling me that he believes that they're there because they're interested in the knowledge of the Watchers. <laughs> Again, the mystery school knowledge, and and, and that the Mount Graham was important to the to the to the the uh, uh, to the Apache Indians, and it's one of their holiest mountains. In fact, it is their holiest mountain. And um, he believes that there's a connection there. Uh, there's uh, there's artifacts. There's something there. Perhaps a portal, a gate, a stargate. How do you do the Watchers? And we're talking about this. And That's right. That's right. Amy, I'm Scotty. A stargate. Wow. Wow. Stargate. Mmm, <laughs> Stargate. I'll leave a link below. This is, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's FOJC Christian Radio. But we're going to leave you the link to Now You See TV. You could even just type that in YouTube. It's a really good channel. I just discovered this recently and I love it. They have a lot of interesting talks. David Carrico. He studied the Bible for 40 years, and he can tell you specific things, like even a mountain that's named after this Nephilim creature that was half a fallen angel, half goat. This creature thing that lived thousands of years ago. And he could even tell you like the breakdowns of the Bible. He goes deeper into details, connections of all the things that are written right there in front of our face that we don't catch because the Bible has so much in it it's hard to it's written in a really amazing way where it's hard to grasp all the information because it's it's like a bunch of little tiny bits tidbits is what I would say it's a bunch of tidbits so many that you get filled with like sometimes in a couple of pages you might have like a hundred different directions that's going pertaining to other stuff besides the Holy Spirit itself that intertwines it all together like like glue. Interesting. Interesting.